guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to run tiles um, in a virtual machine as opposed to a flash drive. Uh, tiles is normally used in a flash drive environment, um, but not everyone wants to run it that way, so here I am teaching you how to use it in a virtual machine, if you have the system for that. Um, so what is Tails? Tails is basically a portable operating system that protects against surveillance and censorship. It's basically running Tor in the background and routing all the traffic into it. Uh, so let's get on with the installation. This is the website, the official website, tails.net. Uh, when you land in this page, you just click install Tails and then click uh, Linux. Uh, and get into, uh, okay, latest version for, uh, here it is. You just click the latest version, uh, it might not be Tail 6.5, uh, might be higher probably, and get into the do to download only for DVDs and virtual machines, ISO image. Just click download uh, the ISO uh, through the, um, the servers or you can use a BitTorrent client. I'm gonna click, um, I'm not going to download it as I already did. Uh, once, once you download the, um, the, um, the ISO, you can verify it here using OpenPGP. Basically, you just click select download to verify. This is basically going to hash, uh, check the hash on the, um, on the tails, tails ISO, and if it checks out, y there's no corruption. You're gonna select, it's gonna verify. You have, you're going to have to wait a bit We're waiting. Let's go, bro. Okay. So verif verification successful, so uh, our image is not corrupted. I'm gonna minimize this. Uh, this tutorial will, will be only for GNOME boxes. Uh, if anyone is interested, I can make a, a tutorial for um, Vert Manager or VirtualBox. That's the most accessible option, as uh, is available in Windows also. This is Linux only. Uh, I mean, Linux runs virtual machines better, so I recommend you to use Linux if you're gonna use this tutorial. So let's open GNOME boxes, GNOME box, uh, ah, it's only boxes. Let's open it, We're gonna readjust it. We're gonna go to the top left um, corner and click the plus, install from file and select your tails uh, ISO, mine is in the downloads folder. So this this pop-up is gonna show, uh, give it a name, Tails 6.5, it's fine. Memory, I'm gonna give it six gigs. It's probably a um, normal amount for, for most people. And storage limit, I'm gonna give it 10 gigs. You don't need much as you're not going to install Tails but running from the ISO all the time. So you uh, will be, no, you cannot delete the ISO after making this. I'm gonna press start, it's gonna run. So let it run. Select still 6.5 from the grub menu. 
We're going to wait a bit. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see if Tails detects automatically my resolution. I thought I bugged out, but that's not the case. So, fine. Let's... Okay. Fine. Now. So, if you want, you can just full screen it. I'm gonna... I'm not going to... Uh, because here is zoomed out. Zoomed in. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the language, I'm going to choose English United States, it's fine. The keyboard layout, I'm going to choose Portuguese. Portuguese. The format, the date format, I'm going to use Portugal's date format, I prefer it. Here's the persistent storage. In a virtual machine, you cannot use this option, so you're a bit limited. This, if you want to use the persistent storage as of 2024, at uh, July 23, 23rd of July, 23, July 23, yeah. You can only use persistent storage if you're using Tails in a flash drive. So if you want that option, you have to make a flash drive and boot it up. If not, you can just finish this tutorial. Um, so in additional settings, let's see what we have. We have administration administration password. This is basically the root. Uh, this will give you pseudo privileges for your user, the user running tiles. Uh, you can I probably recommend you to leave it off for the uh, off, but if you really need it, here's the option. Mac address anonymization, I recommend you to leave it default, don't change this, because this basically protects your um, device from being tracked across multiple networks, as the Mac address is, uh, uniquely identifies your device. Offline mode, yeah, you can leave it default. Uh, unsafe browser, I'm gonna disable the unsafe browser, because uh, the unsafe browser, it's basically all the traffic going through Tails is automatically routed to the Tor network and the unsafe browser does not route the, the traffic to the Tor network. I don't want any exposed um, things, so I'm going to disable it. And network connection, that's fine. So I'm going to press start Tails, it's going to boot up, we have to... Wait a bit. As you can see, um, uh, uh, Tails detected it's running on a virtual machine. So, yeah, it is running on a virtual machine. Um, so when you started up the Tor connection, you have two options, really. You can choose to connect to Tor automatically. That's the 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 default, I mean, probably what we want to choose. But if your ISP, if you don't want your ISP that you, uh, if you don't, you don't want your ISP to know that you're running Tails, Tails now, the Tor network, uh, running with the Tor network, you can hide to my local network that I'm using Tor. I don't want that, um, it's fine. So I'm gonna connect to Tor automatically. You can also configure, configure a Tor bridge. I don't need that, as I'm in a country that doesn't care about that, so I'm going to connect to Tor automatically. If you have any doubts, you can leave it in the comments. I'm going to try to help you. Uh, just click Connect to Tor. So we're gonna have to wait a bit. It's fairly fast. I mean, it's Tor. You have to to expect it to be slow. 
uh, you can start the Tor browser after it's successfully connected. You can start the Tor browser and and you can view the Tor circuits. Basically, uh, where it's gonna route your traffic. I don't need this. So, yeah. So this is Tails. I'm gonna give. This is basically GNOME. I mean, it's fairly obvious. Uh, you have the activities, normal GNOME. You have the applications menu uh, added with an extension. On favorites, you have the Tor browser, Tor connection. This is, okay, the menu we were about 10 seconds ago. You have the persistent storage option if you activate it. In this tutorial, you cannot activate persistent storage in a virtual machine. You have the documentation of Tails, Tails cloner. I mean, I think, yeah, you can clone, you can clone multiple USB um, devices. In this case, it's, it's not uh, really useful because we're doing in a virtual machine. Um, you have Thunderbird, it's an email client. It has open PGP support, so you can uh, encrypt your um, your emails with uh, a PGP key. I have a tutorial on my channel if you want to watch it. Uh, KeyPass exceeds basically a password manager, local password manager, Cleopatra. It's for managing your PGP keys if you don't want to use and certificates if you if you don't want to use the thunderbird built-in uh, open pgp manager let's see metadata cleaner this is really important if you want to send files across networks and send files to other peers be because basically uh, every file has a metadata link and it's really important to clean that out uh, for example in photos most uh, smartphones now take photos with the uh, GPS metadata that basically tells the location or, of where their photo was taken. So it's a good idea to clean that out before sending to anyone, Space is especially if you're an activist or a journalist. I mean, yeah. You have GIMP. Uh, in Inkscape, those are, this is a vector, mostly vector based um, image editor and GNU, uh, GIMP is uh, a normal image editor that you can use to edit photos and things. Uh, you have a Bitcoin wallet. I mean, don't use Bitcoin, use Monero. It's actually much private and Bitcoin is not really good. I mean, <laughs> you can use it if you want, but I'm not gonna recommend you to. Uh, Onion Circuits, we already saw that. Uh, Onion Share, this is a very useful app. Basically, this allows you that, let me resize all them. I cannot resize this, so it's gonna have to be like this. So with this app, you can share files across the Tor network. If you add files, uh, the, um, the program is basically going to give you um, a temporary um, link to run with Tor, with Tor basically other people with Tor, uh, with the Tor browser can access this uh, link and download the files, receive files, it's basically the same thing, but um, the other way around. And you can also publish a website. You, you have here some other options, but let's leave default. Um, in the published website, you can publish, this is mostly for temporary websites, but you can publish a website on the Tor network. You have Pigeon. Pigeon is basically um, a, a chat client for protocols. I mean, honestly, most people are not going to use this. 
as it only has support for XMPP and RC, IRC. I mean, X, XMPP, most people might use this if you're running tiles, but I mean, most people nowadays use Instagram and Messenger, Facebook Messenger. Um, the Tor browser, obviously, and the unsafe browser, if I try to run it, yeah, that says that I disable it in the startup screen. So it's all working out. The Tor browser is also available, obviously. With Office, you have the LibreOffice suite. I don't really like it. I prefer only Office, but I mean, for editing, um, simple documents, it's fine. You have Audacity, Sound Juicer, uh, basically sound utilities. For system tools, we have the Synaptic pack Package Manager. I mean, the name says it, says it all. It's a package manager, basically a GUI package manager for IPT. Um, you have the persistent storage option. And if you're running in a USB drive, you can also select backup persistent storage. I mean, let me see. Yeah. It's impossible to backup in persistent storage because I don't have persistent storage activated. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And you have the very crypt volumes. You also have that basically encrypt your drive. Um, not your drive, but volumes, basically folders. It's to encrypt folders. Um, and you have the normal suite of tools with GNOME. Uh, system monitor, let's see what resources am I using? So I'm using currently 1.6 gigs of my six gigs of RAM. I mean, that's fine, it's GNOME, it's not lightweight. So let's just, I think I'm done here. Let's just test the connection to Tor. I mean, it's a virtual machine, so it's gonna be running a bit slower. Uh, so this is normal Tor browser. If you click here, you can see the the circuits for the circuit for um, this connection. I mean, it's fine. You can uh, uh, change the security level. I mean, it's norm It's the normal Tor browser. And let's check, for example, uh, let me pull up uh, Tor, uh, Tor website example. Yeah, so let's, let's see. Uh, the hidden wiki, it's, it's a good, resource this is basically a website that has uh it's basically um an index of uh, multiple websites tor websites so i copied it uh, so this is not updated so let's sci hub round sci hub let's see if this works Damn, these websites are all down. I don't have much luck now. So let's let's go to the that goes Tor website. I mean that's ha that has to be up. So uh, damn, they really make it difficult to uh, difficult to access. Websites through Tor, Jesus Christ, bro. Mm. Try maybe here, let's check it out. It's probably working because it's really slow. Let's see. I hope it is. I'm not very hopeful. 
Mm. Let me check it out. Uh, Tor website. Let me get that day. I don't think it's going to work. Tor website list. Internet Archive. Uh, damn, this is. This is getting really hard, bro. Uh, I think no. I'm gonna pull up here, you're not seeing anything currently. I mean, Tails has to have a Tor website, right? I mean, that would be kind of strange if it didn't. I think you can access, no. I mean, let me check it out. I think you can go to the settings and search and you have the, the go that on him. Okay, so let's search um, dogs. I think, I really think that the go is down, to be honest. The, the go on um, that onion website. So let's just duck the go that come. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, it's working fine. The the Tor websites mostly are unstable, but as you can see, this is routing all the traffic through Tor. So I think my job here. Let me close this out. I think my job here is done. Hope you learned something, leave a like, comment, and thank you for watching, goodbye.